G'day guys, Neil here, how are you going? I just got back from a few days at Grabine Lakeside State Park, which is on Wyangala Dam, and it's a great place for camping. I've camped on the Wyangala side of the dam, but this is opposite that. And I've got to say that I prefer this side, so the Grabine side. And I was catching up with Mark, who's been camping there for a few weeks, and he also prefers Grabine to the Wyangala side of the lake. Anyway, from Goulburn, you're going to pass by a lot of wind turbines heading towards Upper Lachlan Shire in the southern tablelands of New South Wales. Some of the towns you're going to go through are Crookwell, population about 2,600. It's the biggest town if you need any supplies. Next on the list is Binder. That's about another 17 kilometres further northwest from Crookwell. It's quiet now, but back in the day it was a gold rush town. And finally, Bigger, which is a charismatic little place, tiny town on the western side of the Abercrombie Mountains. And it is the gateway to Lake Wangala, which is where I'm headed. Okay, let's find out what it's like. So, I've arrived. It's a bit overcast, but that will clear up because the forecast is for good weather. I've set up near Mark, who's been here for a while. Yeah, I was just discussing with Mark how much a night it is here, which is $30. And uh, if you look at that view, that's not a $30 view, is it? As you can see, Grabine is much smaller than Wyangala waters. I'm just exploring the tracks around Cypress Point, which is where I've set the camper trailer up. So all of that was at Cypress Point, which is as far as you can go at this end. Yeah, there's no four-wheel driving as such, but some of the tracks are a little bit rough, but uh, really, yeah, really lovely spot. Okay, there's Mark and my uh, camper trailer as well. We scared off the resident goats there. That was the amenities block. Those would definitely be higher cabins. So that's where you book in. Over on the left here is a kiosk, but it's only open at the weekends, but they've got LP, gas, fuel, groceries, hot food, etc. But just at the weekends, and there's fuel here. Look at this view. 
Yeah, that's the view back up to where uh, Mark is camped and I'm camped next to him, somewhere up that way. That's a big old lake here. If you have a boat and you like skiing or fishing, this will be an ideal spot for you. There are cabins for rent on the edge of Shady Bay and Banyandi Bay if you don't want to camp. Well, I can highly recommend Grabine Lakeside. It's a great bush camping experience, but with amenities and laundry if you need them. Plus, of course, the kiosk. And if you have a boat, it's even better. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I might see you out on the tracks, eh? Cheers. Cheers.